Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. We last left off, we got zapped and uh, managed to remove the parasites from our body, which was pretty cool. Uh, no need to use this anymore. Yeah, good thing it was kind of an automatic process. Phew, thank God it's out. Yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of people that uh, have said that before. Anywho, let's keep going, shall we? We've got a date with destiny. Oh! Thank you. You shouldn't have. Uh, really, you shouldn't have. Uh, Ash, uh, can I just... F I can't feed her herbs. Um, I guess I can feed her herbs this way. I suppose. Does that mean we, we missed? One... Um... Yellow herb. It looks that way, doesn't it? God damn it. But that's fine. It is what it is, I suppose. Our mission. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the administrative bodies, and the military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. Uh, after this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. If by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We will... Oh, God. Excuse me. Um, we will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we'll use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will, sw will fall swiftly. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, We'll proceed with our secondary plan by sending in our special forces. We'll infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. It'll only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. At that time, when the most vulnerable will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall soon be cleansed. Yeah. Yeah. Go pedal thy shite elsewhere. Okay, we can give Ashley another booster shot. Um, there we go. Almost maxed her out. So close. Yeah, I know. What a terrible waste of health. Jeez, oh no. Whatever we're going to do for the final boss. Oh no. Uh. Right. Alright, dude. Welcome. What have you got for me? Do you indeed do you indeed well uh, apparently I don't have anything to sell you do you have anything to sell me you diabolical just about two full hills should definitely be enough oh there's some boxes here oh great yeah fine yeah sure why not I suppose uh, right, Ashley's not hiding in a dumpster today. At least not yet. Is there any more? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if there is any more um thingies. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. If there's any more treasure? Yeah, something's not right, huh? My zombie sense is tingling. And there is our best girly. Ada. Well, that's delightful. <laughs> Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. And video games. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. Is that so? Ada, stand back. Ada, go get me uh, another rocket launcher, will ya? Thank you. Yep, 
Yeah, he got real ugly, real quick. Emergency locking down the elevator. Now, I can't remember if you can just do him like this. You can. I thought you actually had to disable him first. Yeah, that's it. That's right. So, let's try that again, shall we? Retry or load. Yeah. So, you actually have to shoot him a couple of times. Down his... And, yeah. Then hit him with that. Cool. Right. Welcome. Give me one of your first aid sprays, Once please, sir. One of your finest you first aid sprays. If you don't mind. Is that all? Thank you. These must be some of the last first aid sprays Come in the world because uh, you don't, you didn't get them after Resident Evil. 4. Oh, did you get them? You got them in Resident Evil. Uh, was it Resident Evil Five? Were there F eight sprays in that? I can't remember. I can't remember if there were F eight. Sprays in six either. You had that silly um, uh, system in six, didn't you? Where you had to convert herbs into tablets for some reason. Well, that hurt. Use this. Danger close, Leon. Jesus Christ, man. Well, we'll eat one of those. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Now, there are some goodies and stuff stacked around here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there's a couple of little things. It's not like a huge amount or anything. It's just herbs and whatnot. Mash that X button. Alright. <sighs> So, what do we have? I'll have that, thank you. Yeah, he's gonna throw uh, girders at us. Oh, thanks for the grenade. I mean, I'll have it, I suppose. Oh, hey. We can actually hit him with this as well. Boom! Oh, that's gonna leave a mark, isn't it? You big old bastard. Hey. Hasta luego, I guess. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Oh no. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Mm. Ada, you treacherous bugger. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island, too. She really pushed it. She did. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. I like the way she doesn't actually tell him where <laughs> the escape route is. Very cute. Just, oh, here's a key. You can use it to get off the island somehow. Thanks, Ada. You're one of the best. Well, that's some money for us, I suppose. Uh, do we want to grab that herb up there? I mean, I kind of do, but... Ugh. Now, there we go. I got lost there for a second. Hello, you. Let's get out of here. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna blow. Big bada boom. Yeah, man. 
Let's go find us a jet ski, which apparently is down here. Oh, you useless. I hate you, Ashley. I do. Aiden never had to put up with this bullshit. Ugh. Right, um, is there anything stashed here? No, it's literally just a jet ski. Let's go. You used the jet ski key. Yep. Hang on, sweetheart. Oh, Le no, Leon, that's cringe. Leon, please. You, you're better than that, Leon. Honestly. Alright, anyway. I hope this, uh... This water doesn't go on for too long. Oh. No, there's more after this, isn't there? Yeah. I was going to say, I don't remember it being that short. Yeah, now things get real. Oh, no. Yeah, I know W's accelerate. I'm a big boy now. Come on. Whoop. Whoop. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hey, we're almost out. Nice. Ashley. Ashley. Where are you? Drowning. Please drown. Please. Oh. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. Yeah, let's not think about all the people that so, died. Uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, sorry, Ashley. Leon has his eyes on a real woman. Is that nasty of me to say? Probably. So, Resident Evil 4. No upgrade challenge thing. Um, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not a preferred way of playing the game. In fact, <laughs> I don't recommend it at all. Uh, it doesn't really add anything. It, it, you know, I'm glad I did it, but it's it's made me realize a few things about Resident Evil 4. Like most of the we uh, fun in this game, for me, comes from the weapons. I really enjoy experimenting with them and getting overpowered weapons and seeing all the cool animations and reload styles and obviously, you know, this would be a lot easier if you, you know, run past the enemies, but that's not my play style. I don't see the point in playing something like this and running past all the enemies. Uh, like I say, you might as well, I don't know, play FIFA or My Little Pony if you're going to do something like that. But uh, we did it. Now we need to go on to separate ways. Yes, several ways. We're gonna have some fun with the uh, assignment Ada and separate ways. Uh, we will do a professional run at some point, but that's not gonna be knife only challenge or or anything. That will be a actual proper professional run using all the upgrades and stuff. Uh, I've played quite a bit of professional now. It's not that bad. To be honest, it is harder. It's absolutely harder, but it's not. It, it's not like impossibly hard, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do first. I don't know whether we're gonna go for assignment Ada or if we're gonna go for separate ways. I, like I said in the previous video, was it the previous video? Was it this video? I forget. I can't remember. I'm old. Um, I have been playing quite a bit of separate ways. In fact, I've actually finished it on, on my Switch. Uh, interestingly enough, 
I actually sat down. <clears throat> I was quite ill in bed. And I sat down, I put it on, and I started playing Assignment Ada from the beginning. Because I haven't finished it on my Switch. And I basically almost finished it in one sitting. I got most of the way through the final act and I was having so much fun um, but you know that that's Resident Evil 4 you know you get the cool overpowered weapons you blast zombies in the face it's a good time uh, so yeah that was the thing and that's what we're gonna do next guess we can skip this and see if we actually uh, got anything I don't know if we get anything. We'll unlock something. And again, is that you? Finally, the line's jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the <laughs> mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know you're kind of cute without those glasses. Oh, Leon. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? Story of my life. And isn't Ashley behind you as well? It's kind of awkward. Um, hmm. So, yes. 16 hours. Oof. Killed nearly a thousand enemies. Uh, I guess. You can upload to the leaderboard. I. Uh, you can now buy an infinite ammo launcher and a merchant. Uh, a Matilda from the merchant. Yeah, not bad. Let's give that a save. I can't remember how you get um, the Chicago typewriter. I think you have to clear Simon Ada. Or separate ways. Or both. Or something. Not really sure. Let's have a look. We've got separate ways. Simon Ada. This is like this cut there that's my favorite outfit for ada ever she looks absolutely amazing there uh not actually a very long mode from what i can remember not a fan of mercenaries in this game i right let me just be fair to resident evil um six resident evil six had the best mercenary mode uh, because of the range of movement and how fast you could move around and the, the melee system that they had in the game it was fantastic mercenary mode in this game i don't like it i really don't like it i played a little bit of it on the switch it is the movement in this game really kills it and it's why i didn't really like the mercenary mode was it the mercenaries 3d that came out on the 3ds i actually bought that and i played quite a lot of it but the fact that uh, the game well the movement is so bad really put me off the fact that you know you gotta stop run away from the enemies group them all up stop slowly get the gun out aim at them start shooting them run away it's just it doesn't work very well at all in my opinion resident evil 6 completely different it's really fast fluid you can charge around the map kick some serious fucking ass it's yeah totally different uh separate ways of course we get to play ada's story uh, and find out that ada actually influenced um the main campaign quite a bloody lot like yeah, Leon would have been in a lot more trouble if it wasn't for Ada she does a lot behind the scenes and it's really cool to actually experience this stuff now I don't think assignment Ada no assignment Ada I believe was actually on the GameCube version but I think separate ways was unique to the PlayStation 2 version which was a kind of a kick in the bollocks when this game came out because obviously Capcom said that this was going to be a, a, a GameCube game only you know so lots of people bought GameCubes just for this game as they should because when it came out it was absolutely groundbreaking um, and then <laughs> less than I think it's less than a year later they brought out a graphically downgraded but content enhanced version for the PlayStation 2 yeah kind of a a dick move really but hey that's business and you know I mean exclusives 
I would rather things be as multi-platform as possible to give more people um, the opportunity to play games. You know, I, as a rule, I don't really like games being locked behind a particular platform. I understand it's important and it's it's a necessity uh, to sell systems, but when you promise a game is one platform only, uh, and then you turn around and say, "Oh yeah, by the way, you're getting an enhanced version on another console." with extra content yeah that's, that's kind of kind of a dick move anyway i'm gonna wrap this one up here a bit of a shorter episode but that's the way it goes sometimes thank you very much for watching and when we come back we're gonna be playing separate ways till next time guys